Hey, Mark, what can you tell me about Convert to Function? Well, this is a great uh, code provider. I use this frequently. It usually happens when I'm in the middle of creating a new method. Uh, I start off not really thinking about what I want to return. It's a void proc or, or a sub in VB. I get to a point when I'm inside the method, I realize, oh, you know what? I want to return a value from this method. And all I do is I just uh, specify the expression I want to return like we've got here put the caret on the return keyword, hit the code rush key and choose convert to function. And there you can see it's gonna, it evaluates the expression to the right of the return keyword. And in this case, it's, it's determined that it's a string and then I just hit enter and it makes that change. It's a nice, fast, quick change. Puts the caret up here, selects that type in case I wanna change it. And then when I'm ready to get back into the code, I just hit escape to get right back where I was. I use this. Right. It's a small change, but it saves a lot of keystrokes, right? I don't have to move up. I don't have sure, to type yeah. anything. And all I have to do is just be right there. Use the, um, use the, uh, um, I, I was going to say, use the, the return template. I should probably, I don't want to divert too much from the feature, but I, I just hit R space. It gives me the return. And then I specify what that piece is I want to put in there. And it does the conversion for me. And it's sure. intelligent. If I were to, un, let me undo this a second, go back to the void. If I were to instead come down here and say first.length or something along those lines, I can come down here and it would be able to determine that it's an int that I want to send back. That's great. And, and that works with things that aren't primitive types as well. So if you had some complex function returning a class that you defined elsewhere, that would still come back and, and get the right type for you as well. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's great. Like, for example, I come in here and say split, for example, um, pass what the, what the delimiter is I want to split in and then come in here, use it again one more time. And there I can see, oh, okay, it's an array of strings, for example. Great stuff. All right. That's really useful, yeah. Okay, there we go.